acknowledgement. We're going to ask uh, Dick and Danny Feather to come forth at this time. Amen.
and all the people from the brave under the tent. I believe he said, come by here, my Lord. Somebody ought to say, come by here now. I get excited about the word, but I also get excited being under the tent. See, I'm accustomed to being under the tent. I'm accustomed to that. I can remember young, being a young lad, that my mother, when she was saved, used to go to the revivals under the tent. And the tent revival was on 25th and Q. Johnny Washington used to come there, 25th and Q. My mother was one of the first ones in Melbourne that, that brought the tent to Melbourne. And if you can remember, there was a preacher came out of West Palm Beach, an evangelist. She brought him in under the tent. So my mother was a sanctified woman. Saved, sanctified, filled up with the Holy Ghost. Let me see the Holy Ghost for your people in the house today. Somebody ought to say yes, Lord. If you're saved today. Hallelujah. Now I want to make, make it plain. I want to give you a subject before I go into the scripture. Because I want you to see yourself. All right. The subject that I'm going to give you, when your faith is tested. When your faith is tested. God have an exit plan. Somebody didn't get it. When your faith is tested. God got an exit plan. You want me to prove this? Let this tent start falling out. All y'all got sticks on you on the side. Everybody that's sitting in that comfortable position, let this tent start falling out. You're going to see an exit plan. I'll be acting it up out of here myself. But I want to talk about God exit plan. You'll find me reading, and we did a little bit of this. The pastor did the Sunday school lesson, uh, First King, the eighteenth chapter. But I want to go First King, the seventeenth chapter. I want to teach on this a little bit. I get excited. I'm like Bishop Flusher. I get excited about the God's Word. I get excited. Don't you get excited about God's Word? If we are saved, we ought to get excited about God's Word. Don't make no difference who's, who's delivering it. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm going to give you a little history. The first verse said, let's read it together. And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, what he said? Uh huh. Yes. According to my word. No rain. As the Lord God given. There will be due no rain. The next verse says what? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yes. Oh, look. 
Let it break. Now let me give you some history. The history is that Ahab, he went and married a woman that was not of his faith. But this did not start with Ahab. If you go back and read it, Jeroboam did it. If you go back and read it, Samson did it. Went out of the faith of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when they went out of the faith of God, they started worshiping idol God. When you go out of the faith of God, uh -huh. you begin to worship out of God. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Somebody help me right now. Yeah. I feel the northern of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. When you think about out of God, yes, you think about your money in the bank. Yeah. You think about the power you have. Yeah. You think about People taking you in the wrong direction. Yeah. I'm talking about an idol God. Yes, sir. When your faith is tested. Yes, sir. God got an eye. You got an exit plan. Yeah. Yes, sir. Here, Elijah went before Ahab. Uh -huh. He told him that there would never be no do a rain for three and a half years. Thank you. Do you know what that means? That means no green grass. No greenery. That means animals die. Everything died around. But guess what? How in the world did Elijah get before the king? How did he end up getting before the king? Because you couldn't walk before the king like this. But God always has a way. He'll make a way out of no way. He will deliver you in the time of trust. Somebody say yes. If you know he's been a blessing to you, shout yes. God always has a nature plan. God turned around. He told him. He said, now you go. He said, I want you to go by the brook chair. I have a reed that's going to feed you in the morning. Going to feed you in the afternoon. You're going to be able to drink water from the brook. God have an active plan. God have an extra plan for you. He have an extra plan for you. Don't make no difference what your situation may be. If you need a healing today, God have a plan for you. If you need money in the bank, God have a plan for you. If the pandemic made you desolate, God got a plan for you. I can see the ravens. The ravens, it, it says ravens. Go back and read it. It didn't say one. It has an S on it. It says ravens. I can see the ravens. Find mine in his own business. Uh -huh. All of us shut yeah. something on the inside of that ring. Yeah. So I got to pick up some meat and bread yeah. and take it to the man of God. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Amen. That's Elijah exit yeah. pain. Uh -huh. Now listen. Teaching and preaching. Here Elijah got comfort. He got comfort. That's the way some of us do. You get so comfortable 
we get so comfortable because the Lord bless us. We get so comfortable because the Lord put money in the bank for us. We get comfortable in our seal house. Now God have to put some heat on us. He put some heat on the Eli. He dried up the brook. God got an exit plan. When the brook dried up, God told him, I want you to go. For two years. Yeah. She lived good. Yeah. 
she got comfortable. But all of a sudden, when the pandemic was almost over, her son died. With a I want to bring it home. I want to bring it home. Deacon Jones. Come here, son. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. Your brother. Stay right there. That's that's the widow one. Okay. That's your mama for now. <laughs> Pretend like you laying in her arm dead. You don't have to go there. I want you to see what's going on right now. She got her son in her arm. Dead. Yeah. D E A D dead. Graveyard dead. What I have to do with you, woman. What you have to do with me. Have you brought my sin before me? He lied to got Holy Ghost fear upset. Got Holy Ghost fear upset. He went and he grabbed the child. He picked up the child. Brought him up into the chamber with him. Laid him down on the bed. Stretched over him three times. I don't know what the three times represent. But I'm saying he wrapped him up. And he said, in the name of the Father. In the name of the Son. In the name of the Holy Ghost. Life. Come on. And life came to the top. God has an exit plan. No matter what your situation may be. No matter what you're going through with. God has an exit plan. Now watch this. That woman said, now. Now I know that you represent God. See, some people can't see God. They can't see what the pastor do until a miracle happens. Now, remember now, you don't know where he lied to come other than he was a test match. He just stepped on the scene. Now watch this. He was dressed like John the Baptist. Dressed like John the Baptist. Don't know where he came from. Jezebel done killed all the prophets. Her kid, she had 450 prophets. That 400 prophets of Ash. Every time a prophet come up, she had a kid. I want you to listen to that. Everybody, I heard people say, I heard people, and so many people I heard say this. Well, it's a pandemic, and the church asking for money in the pandemic. But some of us been full blessed in the pandemic. Before the pandemic came. God didn't cut off your blessing. He still had the blessing coming. If you know that he's blessing you, you all shout yes. Yeah. If you know that he made a way for you, 
you all us have yes. If you know we've been good to you, you all us have yes. 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 I know he's been good. He woke me up this morning. Told him I was mine. He was to lift my hand and say, no, well, hallelujah.
Not only that, but he, he let the, uh, uh, the real one, amen, make plans, exit plan. Amen. After the brook dried up, the widow one was adding the first cake. Can you imagine your last, you and your son or you and your about to die and, and, and someone want the first? You only got a handful. That's where we have to trust God. You know, God is a miracle worker. He can make that little you got stretch. That once a month check we get. Yeah. And by the end of my, the, the last week was like you just ain't gonna make it. He'll make it stretch. Yeah. So you have everything you need. Yeah. Hallelujah. I thank God because he's a good God today. And he's a merciful God. Amen. Remember that when your faith is tested, it is gonna be tested. We don't have trials and tribulations in the day you leave this earth. But always remember, God has it explained. He will bring you through and bring you out. Just be obedient to Him. Amen. So the same. Amen, amen. Did I tell you? It will be all Pastor, I didn't go looking for a job. 
had to go looking for an uncle first. He went to work, just did his own job. They called him, offered him a position. Amen. Wow. Higher than what he had. Yeah. I didn't go looking for him. Then look at here. The doctor told him something. God have mercy. Look at him. We believe in with you. You hear what I say? Your blessing come. And I bring the preach man say it today. Look at here. Your test is right there with the blessing. Amen. Amen. 